Hjärtligt välkomna till Studio AIK Live. Idag så har vi med oss AIKs mittback som jag har varit på lån i Finland under den här säsongen. Sikenje Collins, uh, welcome to the studio. Thank you. To begin with, uh, I wasn't sure, because I've seen your uh, your name. Sometimes I read it Sikenje Collins, sometimes I read Collins Sikenje. In what, what way, what order should I say it? I think it's better you say Collins than Sikenje, the last okay. one. Okay, okay. Yeah. What is like the, do you have, do you have a surname and a... Yeah, I have a surname, like the surname is like, the last, my last name is like Sichenje. Okay. The one in, um, common with people. Yeah. But Collins is like my first name. Yeah. Like, okay. Collins, then I'll call you Collins. Yeah, Collins, it's easier. <laughs> yeah, it's easier yeah. for everyone. Um, we're going to talk a lot about your time in uh, in Finland, in uh, Kops. Um, but before we talk about that, I was... Um, Wondering about the fact that you're still really young. You just turned 20 now in uh, September. Uh, how has it been for you to live in another part of the world uh, now for uh, for a few years? Yeah, to be honest, it has not been easy because mm. as young, leaving your family back at home, it's something like you need to sacrifice and just know your goal and dream and mm. fight for it because for me, that has been my push like i want to i don't want to be the same person i was when i was young or when i see my parents back at home like i want to change something at home so mm. that that energy keeps me like working every day cuz i have people that look upon me mm. so it keeps motivating me and i try to forget like the distance with my family so i just focus on the football and work as much as possible Mm. to get to the level where I want to be and improve. So, What has been most difficult? Is it leaving your uh, family? Yeah, I'll say it's been most difficult because even when I was young, like when we joined school, like it was, I was always away from my family. So mm. I think by now my mom and dad, they are used to it. Like, okay. so it's like normal, like, because mm. I haven't had a year where like I stayed with my family, like just one only at home. Mm. I've been away, like, I see them a couple weeks, months, I go back, so. What has been the biggest transition from living in, in Kenya to living in in Sweden and also in Finland? Uh, okay, I'll say the biggest transition is uh, on the football part. Yeah, I'll say, like, I've learned so many things now. Like, you know, in Africa, there's not so much tactical on the the pitches, they aren't that good. Mm. So I'll say now I've developed like some aspects of football, which I wasn't having a few years ago in Kenya. Mm. Yeah, which is good for me as a player and also it's good for the team, so mm. yeah. And as a, as, a, as a person, what is the biggest changes for you? Yeah, to be honest, I was so much an aggressive guy because okay. where I grew up, like the environment, like so. I've been away like all alone by myself. So I try to be calm and associate with people, like make people happy. That's why I always smile, mm. even when on my bad days or good days. Mm. So it's something which I've grown and it has become in me like to be calm and just show kindness in mm. everything. Yeah. Because when you came in here, you had the sweater on where you had uh, the guy uh, at uh, Oikos Games that have the the medal on, on his head <laughs> that you that you know and he he has the same like um the same strategy in life to just always uh, spread happiness and be happy yeah to be honest like i'll say most people in africa not all but some of them like they always are because you never know what someone is going through maybe he leave his family back home to mm. come and look for greener pastures or help his family so it's always good to show like the kindness, the love and be happy because it keeps you going and even God can like appreciate you and bless you if you do good to people. So that's why that guy is always happy. Like he makes people <laughs> happy. Uh, he's a good guy. <laughs> How do you know him? Yeah, he's my friend. Like he's been cutting my hair for a long time now. Yeah, yeah since I came here to Sweden, like the friendship grew, grew, like every time he texts me, we see each other, sometimes he invites me with his family, we share a meal together, so. Okay, 
No, okay. he's been my friend. Yeah. Yeah. It's always fun to see him with a melon on his head <laughs> yeah, uh, during the, the games. And uh, the explanation is that he wants... He, I have understood it as he thinks he wants to. He wants to spread happiness by, by having that on his head. Yeah, yeah. I think he loves Oi Como so yeah. much. Yeah. How um, how is the how have you coped with the weather in Finland? Yeah, yeah. We can start with Finland. Yeah, I think the weather in Finland is a bit colder. Mm. But I was already in Sweden, so I got used to the cold a bit. Yep. So when I when I went to Finland, I was already mentally ready. Like mm. I knew what I was expecting. It's not gonna be a sunny day or anything. So <laughs> <laughs> never sunny Finland. <laughs> no, that's why I changed my color even now. <laughs> <laughs> because when you when you came to Sweden in the first place, that was in April, right? Yeah. So that was when the summer it was, was about starting. to be a good good weather here in Sweden. Yeah. But when you first experienced the real winter here. How was that? I mean, in comparison to where you're, uh, where you're from in Kenya, it was awkward feeling. And one day I asked Oti, like, "What is this shit weather like?" Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I knew what I wanted, so yeah. I didn't care about the weather, like, because it's something you get used to it and it becomes normal. Mm. So when I went to Finland, I already knew it's gonna be cold, so mm. I was just ready and I knew what I wanted, so. Mm. And when uh, Oiko decided for you to go on a loan, um, what were your first thoughts? What were your initial thoughts? Well, then you spoke to Manu Lindberg, uh, I think he was the CEO back then. Yeah, I felt it was the right decision the club made for me to go on loan. Because mm. even for me, I needed to get the minutes, like more playing time, mm. so that I can even push myself beyond my limit and learn many things of the aspects you know if you play every time every time you develop as a player and you learn to become patient understanding of the game so i'll say it was it was a good decision for me to go on loan because mm. now i'm a different player from what i was last year in ico like yeah yeah we're going to talk about that but to begin with just how um when you first got to uh, to Finland, how did you feel when you came to that club in in comparison to uh, being a part of Oiko? Yeah. When you joined the the first month that you joined the Coops. Yeah, at first I felt a bit different because I was used to friends in Oiko, people yeah. in Oiko, so it was a new environment. Like the first week, like. I was just there, like, try to associate and talk with people, get to know them so that I can cope in the team as quickly as possible. Mm. Yeah, but it wasn't easy, like, the first two weeks because you are new, you don't know anyone there, it's a new club, new mm. country, so it was a bit difficult, but I luckily I cope up so quickly and mm. I got with the teammates. Mm. Okay, so when you came, when you left uh, from Oiko to Coops, you felt that it was the right uh, move and you and Oiko had a, an, an agreement about that? Yeah, I'll say it was the right decision for mm. me because I wasn't getting enough playing time, so it was the best decision to go on loan. Mm. Yeah. And now you speak uh, Finnish? No, Finnish is difficult. <laughs> I only know one word. <laughs> <laughs> it is really difficult. But I, I heard that you've uh, learned to use the sauna. Yeah, sauna is everywhere. In Finland, like, everyone uses their sauna in the boat at homes. So it's nice. Yeah. You had you had one where you lived? Yeah, I had one in my apartment, sauna. So I could use every time after trainings. Okay. Yeah. That was one of the best parts about the, uh, about the Finnish culture? Yeah, that's what I liked about the Finnish culture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, we have uh, gotten some questions from some uh, supporters. We have one from uh, Rampe 91 who says, uh, did you enjoy the best city in the world, Kopio? Yeah, to be honest, Kopio, it's a good city, mm. especially during the summer. It's so beautiful. Mm. Many lakes, the views, it's so good. Yeah, it was nice. The people there, they are friendly. They like me, so I enjoyed a lot, to be honest. Do you like... What do you like best, Stockholm, because it's a much bigger town, or the the smaller uh, Kopio? 
Of course, I like Stockholm. <laughs> but I was happy in, when I went to Coops, like the Coopio, experiencing a new place. It was, it was good, but Stockholm is always the best. Mm. We have another question from uh, Oliver, who uh, asks you uh, the differences between Sweden and uh, Finland. And I'm thinking that he wants to know the, uh, the football. Uh, but, uh, okay, I'll say the difference between Sweden and Finland. There's not so much difference. The difference is like in Sweden, the ball moves like faster, like, but in Sweden, it's more tactical. I'll say like, okay, people focus more on tactical because now recently, I think the Finnish league, it's getting better every time because mm. many foreigners, good players come. Mm. So I'll say it's a good league too if you want to develop and grow. Okay, so pretty close to each other uh, yeah, in yeah. level, but Sweden is a bit Yeah, high. yeah, the level is pretty close. Mm. Uh, we have a question from Jonas and uh, Mr. Josh. Uh, what have you um, developed most during your time in Finland? Yeah, okay, I'll say I've developed so much like in the game. Now, my decision making, playing in the right moment, like making the right decision, like it's top because now I've realized like you need to be calm and play the game because mm. before I could I could play good then I didn't have like this balance of okay like in the game so now now I have like everything like I wouldn't say everything because I'm still developing like I'm still growing yeah. I'm still learning so but my aspect in the game has grown like dribbling with the ball defending like passing okay my passing now I'll say it's Better. Better. So when it comes to your decision making, do you mean that you dribbled in the wrong during the wrong situations before or how would you describe that? I'll describe that as like playing in the right moment where there are no pressure trigger like like avoiding the press triggers often. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so okay. And uh, what have you during during practices and when you've trained? What have you worked on to what what have you felt that you need to develop most? Because this is obviously something that you have developed and become better at. But is it something yeah. else that you felt that uh, this is something I need to improve? Yeah, I worked on my long balls. Okay, and a lot of passing because mm. that's so essential. Because I was good in defending. So I needed to have a balance in all these things like mm. so every time after training I could work on my long balls, passing okay. with the coach and a few teammates. So every day I could grow, grow every day it becomes better. So it becomes normal like in games, mm. like playing good every time. So Are you right or left footed? Right, but right. I use both. Yeah. yeah. How how's your left foot? It's good. But yeah. I cannot shoot with my left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you can pass with it. Yeah, I can pass with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we have a question from Hampus. Have you felt the support from uh, the Oiko fans, uh, even though you've been uh, in Finland? Yes, I have. Yeah. So many supporters text me. Yeah. Yeah, I have uh, so what, many. What, what does that mean to you? It means a lot to me. Like, it shows... They know what I can give and they know my potential. So it's something I don't take for granted. And it's something like I want to give them more, like appreciate them. So mm. Have you, do you feel that like, because we um, I spoke to you like a year ago after the game against uh, Gothenburg, you weren't here, but uh, you were in the show. I feel that you've grown as a person. You. Um, since we spoke last time, how do you feel? Like, because now we just talk about the pitch, but do you feel that, that you've grown as a as a person as well? Yeah, I have grown as a person too. Like, even now, in life situations, I know how to handle situations. Like, when I have good times and bad times, like, I know how to balance it. Like, mm. I don't let it get through my head, or even when I I play good or do bad. I don't let it go through my head because I have to focus next, focus mm. next, next. Yeah, so mm. that's something I have grown and learned. Is it difficult? 
it was difficult at first because when you are young, you play one game good. Of course, you feel happy sometimes. When you play bad, you want to kill yourself. But now I have learned like it's normal because every day we grow. So it's normal if you play good, you focus on the next and keep even working more. Mm. Yeah. When you left for Finland, did you have a, a specific goal with your time there? Did, did you feel like this is something I'm going here because I want to achieve this or develop this? What did you uh, go to Finland with? What were, what were your thoughts? My ambition to go to Finland first when I arrived there was I want to show what I can give mm. and I want to show my talent and play good every game. And the important part was to ve- develop as a person, like my game, I needed to develop and grow most of the aspects to be better, mm. to play in a good level. So that's something I was working every day. Mm. Yeah, so. And you uh, obviously played uh, very well because you were awarded player of the year uh, for your team, uh, Coops. What what did that mean uh, to you? Yeah, it meant a lot to be named like young player of the year in the team. Yeah, it shows like I have a greater potential and I just need to keep my feet down and keep working. Because mm. uh, this is just the start of many big things I had. So. Were you surprised that everything went so has has gone so good for you in uh, in Finland? No, I wasn't surprised. <laughs> Because I knew my potential and I knew what I can do mm. when I get the chance to play regularly and show my talent. Mm. Yeah. And your team has uh, played uh, very well too. You were really close to winning uh, the entire thing <laughs> in uh, Finland, but you came up just short. You were in the second place in the in the table. Um, that last game you could still win if you scored enough goals, but you. Uh, didn't manage to. How um, how would you describe the the season for the team? I'll say the season for the team has been great. Mm. It's been a good season for the team because we had a lot of positives. It's been so good. Like we just missed by a goal difference, but all around the season was good for the team. Mm. Yeah. And tell me about that last game. The last game. Yeah, I mean, when you were close to winning, how? Tell me about. It feels like it was a drama there. Yeah, it was a drama because we needed to score three goals yep. to win the league. So they had, Helsinki had the pressure, but also we had the pressure inside because we need to beat them three. Because every time we used to beat them. So the coach told us, like, this game you need just to do your best and give your all because nothing we can change. If you do well, play good, mm. you will win the game. So that game we played so well, mm. but unluckily we didn't score the three goals, but we won 2-1. Yeah. So, How disappointed were you in the dressing room after when you were so close? It was so sad. I almost, I cried. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't say I, I almost cried. I cried because mm. I felt like it was this close yeah. to get a dream because winning a league, even if it's Finland or anywhere, it's something you need to appreciate because you have worked all the season. So mm. everyone was disappointed and sad, mm. but that's football. Mm. How, uh, how were the fans in Finland in comparison to uh, the Swedish, uh, Swedish um, supporter culture? Swedish support culture, it's, I'd say it's the best. It's more live mm. when you play. Mm. Um, many supporters, so compared to Finland. It's a, it's a big uh, difference playing uh, at home for Coops and at home in France Arena for the Oiko fans, I, I very, guess. Very big difference. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What does that do to you, having um, the fans there and uh, having a lot of supporters there? That's amazing. It gives you a lot of energy. I'll say that because mm. that's what I missed in Finland. Mm. But it's good because Zyko has so many good supporters that stick with the team. 
the whole minutes and support the team. So it gives energy, mm. a lot of energy. How many people did you have in your um, during uh, on your games? I think three thousand, five thousand. Okay. Yeah. So it's not a big stadium like France Arena. It's like twenty thousand less than during the Olympic games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, so now that you're um, here. Um, do you feel that you're ready for Oiko and uh, ready for Allsvenskan again? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm thinking that because you've been during your period here at um, loan at Coops and it's been really well. But I'm thinking, do you feel that you want to develop even more before you go to Oiko or if you feel ready? Yeah, of course. We're still we're still working and developing. It's not all about football. So we keep working and learning new things. Mm. Yeah, because every day it's learning. You never stop learning. Mm. Yeah. You have a clause. You have a clause in your contract that you could have returned to Oiko during the summer, right? Uh, how close were you coming back um, this summer? It was so close, but I had played so many games in coups, yeah. so it was difficult for Aiko to call me back because in the clause it's. It said that if I play half of the games before the summer, Aiko cannot recall me. Okay. So if maybe I could have not played so many games, Aiko okay. could have called me, but it wasn't possible because I had played a lot of the games in mm. the first leg. Yes, sir. Mm. And how did that feel when you felt that you were close to coming back, but you uh, were staying in Finland? <laughs> I'll say it was good for me to finish the long day in Coops because mm. uh, we had just we didn't we had not played like so many games but so I wanted to fail and play like all the games mm. and they wanted to keep you obviously yeah because I was like I was an important player to the team mm. I played a big role so it was good if continue playing and finish the season but mm. uh Football analyst Marcus Bring has been to this studio before. Uh, he wrote that your two biggest strengths are uh, moving the ball forward with your feet, not by uh, by passing, and that you're an aggressive defender. You're not afraid of duels. You win a lot of balls. How would you describe yourself? Is that a correct uh, way to describe you? Yeah, it's correct. Because I dribble with the ball a lot, like when I have space. You take it. Yeah, I take the space because I have the speed. So mm. now I have a lot of confidence in me, and I don't mind to take risk. Like, because if you are afraid to take risk in football, you can't play your best game because you'll be afraid and play safe, safe. So mm. I said I won't play safe. I'll take risk, mm. and it became normal for me. Like, so I got used to it. Like. Not that I do often dribbling, but some moments when I see the space, I mm. can dribble, yeah. Mm. Because now you've been uh, one of the best defenders in the Finnish league. What do you think that you need to be one of the best defenders in the Swedish league? I'll say to keep on working and learning every day. Mm. And playing as many games as possible. That's the only... And to keep on the same belief and confidence I had in Finland. Mm. Yeah, anything is possible because I believe in my abilities. Mm. I know I'm good, so. I uh, saw that you have, uh, that you had uh, 10 yellow cards in your time in, in Finland. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of uh, Oiko supporters remember your red card during the derby against you, Gordon. Um, <laughs> do you feel that you sometimes play too tough? Yeah, I'm too tough, to be honest. Yes, that's something in my game. Mm. But it's not that I just kill people like, no. <laughs> yeah, because there are moments you need to be aggressive, like, yeah. But that's, it's in my aspect of play, my game of play, so. You need to be that aggressive to play your best yeah. game. Mm. So it's good, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we had one question from um, 
Crisinho who said uh, that how many red cards are you aiming for this season? <laughs> the upcoming season. Hopefully zero then. Yeah, no red card. Because <laughs> I haven't gotten any red card in Finland, so... That's good. Yeah. Mm. And you've also been a part of the Kenyan national team uh, during the recent call-ups. Uh, you haven't played that much, but you've been a part of the squad. How uh, has that been for you to represent your uh, country? It's been great. It's been a good experience because the national team, it's international level, like so many good players. So it has also played a big part in my development. Yeah. Yeah. And the coach in the national team believes and trusts in me. So he helps me a lot. Like he even analyzes my game in, in the Coops team. Okay. Yeah. So it's been great. And he's been doing a great part in, in my football like mm. this year. So. It's been a great experience. Mm. Yeah, even though I don't play because competition, like we have good players, I'm young, but yeah, I know my chance is coming. And mm. yeah, so. How's it felt emotionally for you to represent your country? It was, you know, when you're young, you have a dream mm. and it's every child's dream to play for his country and represent his nation. So. It was a proud moment for me and my family, like, yeah, because when I was young, you know, I was like telling my brother, oh, one day I'll play for the national team. And so, and it's something that came true and mm. here I am. So mm. whenever I go to training, I just smile because. Because mm. in the team, we also have Michael Olunga who's been playing for you, Gordon. You have Okumo who's been playing for Elfsborg. And of course you have Eriko Tieno who's, um, Playing for Oik, obviously. Uh, how important has that been for you, especially Otiano? I think of because then you had had someone that you maybe could talk to in the beginning when you came to the club. Yeah, I'd say Otiano has played a big part in my career. So, like every time, he tells me to do the right things and advises me on everything. So we are very close friends. Like it's like a brother to me. So. Mm. So it's something that it's motivating. Mm. He don't talk too much, but with me, he, yeah, you can he, see it here. He can't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but did did you talk to Otiano before you joined Oiko? Yeah, we were in the same school, but yeah. okay. he was like four years above me because mm. I had just joined the school. But he was like he had one year remaining, so. We were with him like for one year, then he left. But after that, he's been coming to the school, supporting. So we've been talking mm. at home in Nairobi. We meet. So okay. So when I when I came here, I told him, yeah, but you know, I'm coming to Aiko. Mm. I said, yeah, it's good. Come. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, um, <clears throat> P uh, Peter uh, Widbark, he's asking you how much have you missed AIK while being away in Finland? I missed killing some people in France Arena. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been good. Yeah, I miss I miss playing for AIK on the supporters. Yeah, I miss the sound at the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. I miss a lot of things. Mm. Yeah. What do you think of your chances of being a part of the the starting eleven uh, when uh, the season 2024 begins? Yeah, I'll say the chances are high, but that's something you don't say by mouth. You show on the field, so I'll work, I'll work hard and leave the rest to the coach. So mm. that's not my job. My job is to work, but I want to play many games next season. So you came back to. Oiko yesterday, did you? Or to Kalberg? Yeah, yesterday. First day, first day yesterday, yeah. Because you ha I saw someone asking about that. You, you're not allowed to play this season for Oiko, right? You can't uh, join Oiko for the last games during Allsvenskan now. No. No? Yeah. Um, so you'll be ready for, for uh, next year. But how much have you followed uh, Oiko? How much have you been able to see uh, the games that Oiko has played when you were away? I have watched all the games actually for Oiko. But maybe some games we were playing on the same day, mm. I didn't watch, but I have watched like almost all the games. Mm. Yeah, so I've been following like everything. 
It's been a it's been a real tough season for Aiko. Yeah. What what have you felt when you watched Aiko this season? To be honest, uh, there was a time we we were like losing. We had bad times, and it was a bit sad. Mm. And felt sorry for the guys at the players at Kalbag because everything wasn't going well. So it was a bit hard and sad, but they were great people. They have done so well now, so it's good. I'm happy for them. Like, mm. but it was a bit emotional, like to see the team struggling and. Yeah. yeah, I understand that it's been a tough season, but hopefully we'll uh, make it through and uh, play well these that last games in in Allsvenskan. Um, some uh, last questions for you uh, here to get to know you even better, uh, Collins. Um, what uh, what are your dreams? What when you see yourself in the future, where do you want to play? What, are, what do you dream of football-wise? Yeah, I want to play in the big leagues. Mm. I want to be a great player like people look upon. I'm still not yet on my dream. This is just like a step, so yeah. I have a bigger dream. I want to play in the big leagues and yeah, mm. that's my dream. Any spe- specific league? England. England. Spain. <laughs> Doesn't matter as, l- as long as it's one of the. No, it's big it's a good five. league, but I'll say I like Spain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a nickname? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. I don't I have. Maybe <laughs> supporters know my nickname. I don't know. So you have. A, so you have a nickname. I think they they. I usually see some names, but I don't remember. But I don't know. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I I'm starting to think now because you're saying it like as it's something that supporters used to describe you, but I don't I can't recall one. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So no nickname then. Uh, what do you do during your um, spare time when you don't play football? Yeah, I hang out with my friends, mm. or I go play games or watch movies or I call my family back at home so that's all I do <laughs> sounds like a football player's life <laughs> yeah nothing to do after that yeah you've learned to fika I guess as well yeah <laughs> you know what fika fika what? yeah fika in it, it, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, just to go go grab a cup of coffee. That's fika, and uh-huh. that's like what every yeah. football player does yeah. after, after practice. You go uh, grab a fika. Yeah, because sometimes in Finland, like we'll go in the coffee shop alone, just take coffee, go. Cause yeah. it was a small city, so yeah. okay. Uh, who do you think is uh, Oiko's best football player? Because I'll say your Tieno. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, the best player that you've played with? In Aiko or? In general. Uh, <laughs> That's a bit sad because most of my friends are good, so. Uh, was it someone when you when you came to Oiko? Because Otiano you knew from before, but was was mm. it someone when you did your first uh, uh, practices with the club that you yeah. felt like this is a this is a great player? Larson. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan Larson. Yeah, Sebastian mm. Larson. Sebastian Larson. Yeah, because mm. yeah, you play with them both. So, which yeah. one did you mean both or which one did you no, mean? No, Sebastian. Sebastian Larson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know why I thought of Jordan before Sebastian. It was. But Jordan was good also. So. Yeah. Um, the best player that you've played against? I don't know their names, but... Um, in ICO or in different team? You choose. Could be, I mean, you... Yeah, I'll say... I'll say from the national team. Okay. The Michael Olunga, the striker, so he's Michael good. Lunga. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. Uh, your biggest role model in uh, <clears throat> in life, someone that that's helped you with your career, someone that you look up to, someone that's been important for you. Like as a person, or like 
Yeah, I'm thinking in football. Or... Yeah, in in it could be in football, but if someone has that that you felt has been important to you. It could be your family, obviously, but if there's someone else who has helped you along the way to get where you're at right now today. Yeah, I had I had one guy, but like he he was more of like my agent, but like okay. we parted ways. But yeah, he's, he's he has helped me. Mm. So. He's a guy like I appreciate him, mm. but now we are not together. But he's a guy like he did so many good things for me. So, mm. do you have a specific uh, football player that you looked up to when you were young and you started playing football? Yeah, I'll say I was watching a lot of Maldini videos. Okay, so it's a great player. It's a guy I watch his videos every time. So. Mm. Uh, favorite TV show or movie? Um, favorite TV show. I like. I like watching like action movies, mm. uh, and I'll say now like I'm watching this one. It's called Top Boy, so I like it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you what, what do you like about it? Yeah, it's good. It's fun. Like, yeah, just action. Not about action. Like okay. every action. And also, I love horror movies. Okay. Scary. Okay. Yeah. Um, favorite music. Music, I'll say Afrobeat. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you uh, listened to anything uh, Swedish? Yeah. Yeah. I I know I know I think I know some some Swedish song. You like it? Yeah, do you know? Good. Do you know any specific song? Yeah, I have one in my phone, but I don't know the name. Okay. Yeah. But, okay. But I listen. I have listened to so many Swedish songs. Okay. They're good. Yeah. Mm. So you you but you don't listen to it by yourself. If you're listening to music, you don't put any you don't put on any Swedish music. I put sometimes. Oh, you do. You do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, I need to know what you're listening to because I'm interested. Okay. Um, I think that was the last one I had. It was uh, nice uh, having you here in the in the studio, Collins, and um, nice to see you play well in Finland. And uh, hope that you have a great year next year. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, I hope so. Um, everything goes well. Yeah. Thank you och uh, tack alla som har tittat. Vi är tillbaka med en ny intervju nästa vecka.